We actually got awarded yesterday afternoon um, the best marina display of the, the whole show. Welcome to episode four of Short Stories. Uh, it's the day before the Sydney Boat Show. We're just about to have a, uh, a training session, briefing session with the team, just to go over what our key objectives are for the show, uh, do a bit of sales training, and also just make sure that everyone's clear on, on, on what their roles are. After that, we've actually got the owners of Capelli that have flown all the way over here uh, from Italy, um, specifically for the show, and to, to come and see the facilities and, 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 and you know everything that we've got going on down here. Um, you know, they've, they've expressed their, their strong desire to, to grow this region over, over the coming years. They see a lot of potential down here um, for future growth, as, as, as we do too, as we're seeing just a, a big shift in the trend of boating to more of this day boat. And, and, and something that, you know, we're finding people love about the ribs is that they're really easy to own. Um, you know, the layout is really suited to the type of day boating that we do here in the harbour, but also, uh, you know, up, up on the Gold Coast as well. So I've been part of that. They've actually just given us um, an extra 50% uh, on our slots for next year, uh, which is huge considering you know the factory is is is, is at full capacity and and a lot of dealers are struggling to get slots. So I think that's um, it's a really good sign for us and um, something that you know we're really excited to have them down here over the next few days. We're going to jump on board a Capelli 40 that we've got here and give them a full tour of the harbour um, and then head into the boat show so they can see our stand. So it's Saturday morning, day three at the boat show. Uh, it's been a really good start to the show, actually. We had our VIP event last night, which was really good for us to get all our customers together, especially given that you know every boat that we have down there is a, is a customer's sold boat. You know, it's, it's no, no secret that you know stock is an issue at the moment, and so if it wasn't for you know our customers, thankfully the relationships that we have with them, you know, we wouldn't be able to, to make that happen. So, so we had a lot of our team there as well, so it was good to have everyone mingling. Um, I think there'll be some sore heads down there this morning. Me included. Um, but yeah, no, honestly, all in all, it's been a really, really good start to the show. We actually got awarded yesterday afternoon um, the best marina display of the, of the whole show, which is a, a huge award um, for us to get, and it's a huge reward for, for all the effort that's gone into making this thing happen. You know, there's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes, and there's a lot of effort that we put into not only being here, but we really want to make our presence felt and have a good display of boats to give people access to. And to get awarded something like that really means a lot to us. Um, and in terms of the boats that we've got on display down there, I mean, it's, 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 it's the most amount of boats that we've had on display ever. In terms of horsepower, we've got over 10,000 horsepower on display there. There's more horsepower on display than at the Melbourne Cup, I think. But um, now, honestly, we've, we've got the um, three Capellis making their debut. We've got the big 44, uh, the Capelli 40, and the brand new 1000. Yeah, outside of that, we've got a really good range of, of Gradies on display. Uh, we've got the Canyon 456, which is actually also making its Australian uh, debut here. It's the biggest, biggest boat that they do. It's got the big quad 425s on the back, and we've got that front and centre down there. So that's gaining, gaining a lot of really good attention as well. And then down the back, we've got the Valhalla, which is the, you know, it's a real Ferrari rocket ship, that thing. There's a lot of people that have come specifically to see that boat. So it's good to have that down there in amongst everything as well. So we're back here at the spit. Uh, the team are just in the process of, of bringing all the boats back from the show. Um, you know, this next week, in a lot of ways, is is more important for us than the actual show. You know, it's where where all the serious prospects uh, are coming down for sea trials and to, and to test run the boats, um, which is really important. You know, like a lot of boats can can look good at a boat show, um, but you know, it's a it's a totally another thing to. To run a boat, you know, it's something that I say to a lot of a, a lot of people, particularly you know those that are that are relatively new to boating, is the importance of sea trials because you know, unlike the road, the water isn't flat all the time, and so having a boat that can that can 
you know, handle really well and something that is, you know, safe and, and stable is, is critical to, to, to someone's overall, um, you know, boating experience. And so um, we're really big on that. You know, we don't believe anyone should buy a boat without, without sea trialing it. Um, not only for the people that are using it around the harbour, but particularly for those who, who plan on, you know, using a boat um, offshore, it's critical to take it for a run. And so um, we're lucky to be representing, you know, the brands that are the best in the world. Um, uh, when it comes to how they how they run and how they perform so uh, you know we've got uh, quite a lot of sea trials and test trials booked in over the next week and so uh, it should be an enjoyable week um, and you know a really good way to cap off what's been what's been a really good show.